Can you believe this? I just started doing a Facebook Live and it lost a connection. It makes no sense. I've done so many and I've had no connection problems. Okay, sorry. Let me go back to the elevator pitch. Uh, I'll just repeat it. What I say is, have you ever met anyone who could locate your deepest stresses, physical and emotional, and release them? Stresses you may have had your whole life that no, no other doctor has been able to locate. That's what I do. That's what KST is all about, finding what other people have missed. And it was discovered by accident, literally by accident. I was in an accident, and I was hurt pretty bad. I had a concussion and a whiplash, and it was a, uh, it was a home accident. I got hit on the head with a, a large piece of furniture just crashed down on me. So I was in a lot of pain. If anybody's had a concussion, you know, sometimes you just sleep it off. And I slept for about eight or ten hours. Uh, but when I woke up, my problems had just started. I was still in a lot of pain and numbness and tingling and paresthesias and weakness and neck, shoulder, arm, hand, leg, because I had sciatica off and on for years. The kicker is I'd been under chiropractic care regularly for at least 20 years by that, that time. Still had a lot of suffering, a lot of pain, a lot of problems. So I went to the local chiropractors. I went to everybody I knew. Uh, no one was of the help. I went to, ultimately, I suffered for 10 long years, and so between 40 and 50 doctors, mostly chiropractors. I traveled all around the country doing nearly every technique everybody knew. Um, I went to people whose techniques were named after them, people who are famous in the profession. I won't name names. Everybody was wonderful, and they were so helpful in trying to be helpful, but as I teach people, intent is great. People will come up to me at a seminar and say, isn't intent important? I say, yes, it is, but you also need practical. You also have to have the right technique because for, I saw between 40 and 50 doctors, the pain was getting worse and worse. No matter what I did, it, it, wasn't, it was unrelenting. I'd wake up in the middle of the night. I was day and night, I would suffer. And so many of the doctors I saw had the best of intentions. And I saw chiropractors, osteopaths, medical doctors, physical therapists, body workers. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> ah, what do they say? You sneeze on the truth. So body workers, I saw all kinds of uh, healers of all kinds, massage therapists, craniosacral. The list is long. I, I spent a fortune traveling all around the country, seeing top people. Nobody could help me. Arms and leg pain was getting worse. Um, I gave up my license to practice. Not everybody knows that, but uh, I gave it up. In Pennsylvania, you can put it on ice. So I did that uh, because I couldn't use my hands. If you're a chiropractor and can't use your hands, you've got a lot of problems. And this went on a long time. And I remember looking at a photograph of some uncles of mine, and the uncles all were surrounded by uh, walkers and, and canes. They had hip and knee and back surgery and replacements and all kinds. And I, I remember looking at this photo and saying, is this going to be my fate? It, it felt like it. I'd seen so many different doctors, nothing seemed to make a difference. So um, after 10 years still suffering, I was introduced to the suggesting instrument. And an instrument doesn't matter because it could be any instrument. In this case, it was the arthrostim, which was an incredible instrument. I like it a lot. And I started experimenting with it. And I realized if I combined two concepts from two chiropractic techniques that I was fortunate enough to know, one was spinal column stressology, which very few people know, but it was wonderful, designed by Lowell Ward, got a lot of ideas from him, and DNFT, directional non-force technique by Richard Van Rump, a lot of great concepts there. I went to practitioners of both, neither helped me. But when I combined them using the instrument, I'd know exactly where the pressure was. In this case, the nerve impingement or, or, or the stress on the nervous system and the skeletal system. I knew exactly where it was and in what direction. And using an instrument, I, I corrected it. 10 years of intense suffering, gone in five days and I was shocked and I was very disappointed because I'd seen so many doctors and nobody found it so I uh, my wife Beth was my second I was my first patient my wife Beth was my second patient she had had migraines for 12 years since she was pregnant with our son Seth 
and the migraines were constant. And you know what it's like with a migraine sufferer? The, they have to lay down, turn off all the lights, they'll have to throw up, and then they'll start feeling better. And this was not going away. Nobody could help her. Everybody tried. Nobody could help her. So what happened? Uh, I remember running upstairs with the instrument, and I say, let me check you. And I checked different areas, and I found something everybody missed. And I'll tell you what I found on me that they missed or couldn't correct also, but what they missed on Beth was her sphenoid bone was anterior. At Sherman, we were told the cranials don't move. Other schools now teach, I think they teach now that it does move. Suddenly the cranial started moving since I graduated, I guess. Anyway, so I tapped it. Took a minute less, less than a minute. The tap was a few seconds. And it, it's been over 10 years, no migraines. Just stopped. And I remember experimenting and checking people and realizing I was finding what everybody else was missing. And uh, what I found on me was counter rotation. T1 and T2 were going like this, opposite directions. Um, that's common in transitional areas. T1, T2, L4, L5, S1, uh, between the sacrum and the lumbar, between the lumbar and thoracic, thoracic and cervical. Transition areas seem to be the weakest. Um, uh, Atlanta occipital area. Um, transitional areas appear to be the weakest. And that's where I'm, I have theories on the mechanism, but the vertebra went in opposite directions. Diversified cannot get it, does not get it. Um, most manual adjusting does not get it. But using the instrument, I tapped in one direction and then in the other direction, released it. After 10 years, between 40 and 50 chiropractors and other healers. And I started checking doctors. I figured if this stuff is any good, it should help people when nothing else has helped them. Because how many techniques in the chiropractic world, God knows in the manual therapy or manual healing world there are, there's at least 100 in chiropractic and probably two or three times that number in other healing arts. I figured if I could help people where others were not helped or where other people failed on them, then I had something unique. So those days I was doing a lot of lecturing for state associations and schools. And uh, I would make an announcement. I'd say, anybody here, right before the break, I'd say, anybody here been suffering for years? You still have problems. doesn't matter what it is. You've been to lots of doctors. You're still not helped. See me during the break. Uh, I've discovered something. I didn't have a name for it yet. I've, I've discovered something I think might be able to help you. So I... Uh, Figured one or two people would stop by. I dismissed the group. The line went out the door. So many doctors were suffering in so many ways. And in fact, doctors would whisper to me. They'd say, you know, some days I'm in more pain than my patients. And this is not unusual. I traveled all over the U.S. I just must have worked on over a thousand chiropractors and their wives and kids and all. And this was not uncommon. We have a great profession, but we're missing things. And we're missing some very serious blockages or subluxations. And the results were so powerful. People started saying to me, when are you going to teach us? Are you teaching us? What do you call it? And I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't have an answer for any of that. Because um, I felt like I wasn't ready. I still needed to work on more people. So what happened? I was in England. I was speaking for the McTimony Chiropractic College. And they asked me to do 12 hours. No, yeah, 12 hours. So I'm, and during one of the breaks, uh, one of the, the instructors or the head of the school comes up to me and says, um, we got a problem. The other speaker couldn't make it. Can you do an extra four hours? Four hours. You know how many, how long it takes to make one hour of material? And now they're asking for another four hours. And I didn't know. And I thought, oh, let me, let me demonstrate this work I, I, I've been working with. Didn't even call it corn specific technique yet or KST, didn't have a name for it. Um, and I started showing people, because my question is, what held me back from teaching it was, can other people learn it? Because, you know, there's always the question, well, he can do it because he discovered it. He's got some special abilities, some special talent, but other people can't. I didn't want that. I wanted to see if this was universal because I've discovered something that seemed to be helping where other people failed. 
And so I started teaching. It was my first unofficial KST seminar was in uh, Abington, England, for the McTimini Chiropractic College. It wasn't planned, but it was a big audience. And I started demonstrating excuse me, the occipital drop and how to, how to do the work. And we didn't have instruments, so I told them to tap, which can often work pretty well. And I taught not only the chiropractors, but there were a lot of chiropractic assistants and even some spouses, students, uh, lay people. It was a real mixed bag. And, uh, but if I feel if this is universal, anyone should be able to do it. Of course, whether or not you can charge and practice and all depends on various laws, but there's no law against working on yourself. Not yet, at least. So I started to teach and I showed them. It was a few hours. I did demonstrations. I do remember that, you know, people talk about the, uh, how British people are so reserved, stiff upper lip and all. I was blown away by how many people were crying uh, when I'd release something, cranials or cervicals or anywhere in the body. Um, they just burst into tears. It was such a relief. They stuff they've been carrying around their whole lives. And I wasn't even doing emotional work, which came a little later. This is purely physical, but it was so powerful and so deep. And I started getting emails when I got back home a few days later. Oh, I've been using this, and this kid now can do this or couldn't do that, or this person's out of pain, or they can move their body, or the patient just broke out into tears laughing and cry or crying and happy. I mean, it was just great stuff. One especially was a doctor uh, wrote to me about a, an autistic child who, no, not an autistic, Down syndrome child who hadn't been able to walk ever. And she worked on him using the, what I call channels check and correct to locate the subluxation or the blockage or the interference and correct it. And the child started to walk for the first time in his life. That uh, I'll never forget. And I remember saying to Beth, time to teach. And because people have been asking me for, for 18 months, when are you teaching, when are you teaching? And I kept saying, no, I'm not. I, I don't feel like I know enough. It's not the time. I don't know if others can learn it. Finally, I got a yes. So uh, when that happened, I just said, Beth, we have to do it. And she said, this is not the right time. Uh, we've got this birthday. We have, we're going to Israel. We're taking this big trip with people. And we've got all this personal stuff going on. And I said, nope, got to teach it. I, it just was one of those feelings. You have to do it. We had our first KST seminar out here in Montgomeryville, Pennsylvania, middle of nowhere, I guess, that some people would say. You had to take a rent a car to drive there. Um, now we have them by the airport, so it's a lot easier. But uh, it, and I thought this might be the last seminar ever. And I sort of held my breath. You know, I told her I was very excited, very nervous, because here I am asking people to pay money to learn something that essentially is, is new. And that was scary, and at least for me. Uh, for them, it was time and money. For me, it was a reputation. But there, I was convinced that this was so powerful and they could learn it. And the same thing happened as happened in England. And of course, this time we had a manual and a workbook and a, a PowerPoint presentation and slides. And people could write down in the workbook copies of all the slides and articles, things I'd written. The manual that was 12 years ago, the manual has gotten through, I think, nine revisions. It's like doubled in size, a lot more stories. Because one thing is I like to have a bit of a Talmudic approach, which I want commentary. So I want everyone to comment. And the comment they did, loads of doctors from all over the country, all over the world. We've always had people from Europe and South America. It's Canada, Mexico, uh, Asia, you know, we're doing a seminar in Taiwan in, in about a month or so, and, and Sweden in about two months. So the comments were incredible. They were getting results on patients that had plateaued They'd, for years, or patients they had, were not able to help, and all kinds of powerful healing stories, babies, infants, newborns, or elderly, because this work is very gentle. And that's one of the things I just want to mention. KST is gentle. You get great results without having to kill yourself. And literally, I mean, there are, I know seven, seven doctors in my neighborhood, uh, this area, General Philadelphia, I'm sure there are more, who have had surgery as a result of practicing chiropractic, you know, the, the diversified, they call it manual adjusting surgery. I, and I know one guy who died shortly after the surgery. And it, 
this is common. With this work, it's gentle on your body, the practitioner, but also gentle on the patients. That's why you can do it on newborns and lower life forms like teenagers and uh, dogs and cats and horses and cows. And you can pretty much find it out any body. We have some unique things about KST. One of them is called the posture of subluxation. And that's one of the things you have to know. Apart from it's gentle, I mean, it adds years to a doctor's practice life to use KST. That alone yeah. it makes it incredibly valuable. I mean, how much is that worth to be able to practice? But also you can work on yourself uh, so that you don't have to suffer from practicing. But it's very gentle and easy. And we made a, we discovered a few really cool things. And one of them is called the posture of subluxation. We, you know, I tell doctors, don't live, uh, don't have the tyranny of the table where you're laying, everybody has to lay down on the table because who gets hurt laying face down on the table? Who gets damaged? Who has issues? Laying? Very few people. Most people are hurt or have problems when they're moving or twisting or under stress, even emotionally. So what we do is we work on someone when they have, they, they put them in different positions, standing, sitting, bending, or moving around. I'm going to talk about this a little later. I have my schedule here and it'll probably be, at the next class, I'll get into the posture subluxation, how important it is, because the posture can be physical or emotional. When a person changes their thoughts, their feelings, their whole body changes. And it can also relate to things like allergies and asthma, dyslexia, bad habits, addictions. Yes, I kid you not. And there's, I'm going to do a whole dyslexia talk a little later. But next time, I'll talk about the posture of subluxation, how it was discovered, and how we can use it for sports. I'll be doing some actual demos, so it just won't be a talking head, hopefully, It'll be, or talking Ted. It'll be me. Uh, but I just want to tell you that we're having uh, some real KST. You can learn this home study. So, you know, cornspecifictechnique.com. Go on that. I'll, I'll make it a comment uh, in the comment section. But you can learn KST home study which is great. But we also have a great package, which is a combination of home study and live seminar. It's a package. You get a nice discount. And I hope you'll take advantage of it. Where are we going to be? A live seminar. You'll see me live um, and in person. And uh, the next seminar will be in, uh, and I don't have it here. Where did I put it? Please excuse me. I wrote it down. It's like a big, oh, here it is. People in the office just had a heart attack for a second saying, you've got to tell people. April 5th to 7th, Columbia, South Carolina. Um, and we're doing one in Taiwan, Taipei City, April 27th and 28th. And uh, after that, Stockholm, Sweden, um, May 25th and 26th. Uh, we'll be in Denver, we'll be in Detroit, we'll be in Philadelphia and in Seattle later in the year. So I just thought I'd mention that because uh, you can go to cornspecifictechnique.com. Also, I have lots of blogs on cornwellness.com. You might enjoy that as well. But um, we have to realize that there's a lot of doctors who are suffering and in pain a lot from years of practice. It doesn't have to be that way. You don't have to kill yourself to help other people. And KST is that answer. Not only that, you'll get the results. You'll, you'll start getting results on patients you thought you failed with because you find what everybody else misses and what you've been missing. And uh, next, next talk, next week, uh, Wednesday at 1, I'll be talking about uh, KST and posture subluxation. And a future one is, uh, I know that pain is a big deal, so especially disc problems, back, neck, uh, shoulder, arm, leg pain, and KST, and how easy it is to fix it. You know that whole seminars devoted to working on discs? whole seminars and in five minutes uh, at a KST seminar that's all you need five minutes you get better results than going to a seminar for 12 or 16 hours I kid you not anyway like I said we have a home study if you go to cornspecifictechnique.com you can get our home study or you can call us uh, on the website is our phone number give us a call and you can get the results, the magic we've always dreamed of. We also have a free ebook that we could send you. So just write or call us and we'll send it all to you. And you know what? I'm going to uh, write now in a comment, www. I don't know if this is proper etiquette when you're doing Facebook Live. 
or specifictechnique.com. There it is. Okay, thanks. Please write to me if you have any questions. Uh, I'd be happy to discuss it with you. Uh, life is a whole process. We're always learning. And please join us. So, thank you so much. Do you want to end this live video? End, yes. You'll be able to choose it. If